Hi, everybody, and welcome to Houston Refocused. I'm your host, Roger Palomino, and we're here with a very special guest, Dr. Tom Kohlers. Um, he has the Pro Vector Technologies, and so these technologies have helped over 200,000 families in 60 countries. And I know that you recently handed out a few of these products uh, to uh, many in Fifth Ward just yes. recently. So. Um, Pro Vector Flower is just one of the many products that you have that help many people. So uh, tell us, uh, doctor, what inspired you into studying this and how uh, you got started? All right, I was a young captain in, in the Army in Thailand, and uh, I was visiting a hospital in Kampong Pet. Mm -hmm. It's north central Thailand. I was with a physician. I'm an epidemiologist, infectious disease scientist by training, and I, I work closely with physicians to help the community in doing public health. And this little boy was uh, in the hospital ward in a coma. He had dengue virus, which is transmitted by mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. And uh, his mom was holding his hand, and his sister, she was about eight. The little boy was about five. She was crying in the corner. And I said to uh, Tim, I said, is this little boy going to come out of it? He said, no, he's, he's going to die. And uh, God touched my heart, Roger. Um, basically, the Holy Spirit said, bed nets aren't working, spraying pesticides not working, they're not the only answer, you need to come up with something new. So, spent 12 years doing research to come up with uh, a new technology, uh, using colors to attract the mosquitoes and then using a safe pesticide mm -hmm. that's not toxic. Uh, you know, a lot of the countries I work in, People don't know how to read. They don't have technology, you know, like we do. They don't have electricity. So I had to come up with something that was practical and inexpensive and safe for mm -hmm. them. Yeah, and it's very interesting you mentioned that because I was doing a little bit of research and I read that you use specific colors uh, to fight mosquitoes and flies. Um, just to name a few examples, uh, blue attracts yeah. flies, uh, red and brought. black mosquitoes that carry malaria, black and white for the dengue virus. So That's right. explain a little bit about how you came up with the colors right. and how you use them. Well, I, I'm, I'm not real smart. I'm a former infantryman, but I don't give up too easy. <laughs> so. Uh, the uh, red and black attracts mosquitoes that carry malaria. Mm -hmm. And the white and black attracts mosquito species that carry uh, Zika virus and dengue and uh, chikungunya, which, you know, uh, we have those species of mosquitoes in Houston. Mm -hmm. And then um, the yellow attracts uh, mosquitoes that carry West Nile virus, the house mosquito, which is also found in Houston. And then uh, the blue attracts fly species. And a lot of people don't, don't know it, but mosquitoes are a type of fly. Mm -hmm. So that's how that works. But the, what's amazing about this is God knew what I was doing before I did. We were helping uh, an orphanage in, in Kenya. The nurse contacted my wife Peggy and I. Um, my wife passed away two years ago, went to be with our Lord Jesus. And uh, I'm going to see Peggy again because I have faith in Jesus too. And just wanted to say that to everyone that, you know, that's what gets me through is, is knowing that I'm, I'm going to see Peggy again. And I got five kids, so please pray for my family. Um, but the, uh, the nurse said to us at a missions health conference, we sent her a bunch of product. After six months, she met Peggy and I, and she said, Dr. Tom, there's no more malaria in the, in the dorms. No more kids are dying. In fact, there's no more mosquitoes. The first time in our history of our orphanage, we could watch TV without being covered by blankets. Wow. I'm like, well, that is cool. Praise God. She goes, oh, and those colors are the wordless gospel. So, well, what's that? And this is how God knows what we're doing before we know what we, we're doing, you know? Mm -hmm. The darkness represents sin because the sin was separated from God. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But God loves us. So he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. And that's what the red represents, the blood of Jesus who died on the cross. But he didn't stay dead, Roger. He rose after three days. So anybody with faith in him, we put our faith in, in Jesus Christ for our salvation. Mm -hmm. And our sins are washed away, and that's what the white represents. And the Bible says that if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. See, that's a promise. And see, I didn't have Bible verses on until that nurse told me, hey, Dr. Tom, that's the wordless gospel. And God said, ding, turn a little light on in my brain. Mm -hmm. And so I started putting 
Bible verses on our products. And uh, we put it in Swahili, we've put it in, in Spanish, um, French, Arabic, mm -hmm. um, all, all, all kinds of, you know, we've, like you said, we've helped about 200,000 families. Yeah, and, and I find it really interesting because I know in other interviews, especially one that you had in Nicaragua, you talked about the Pro Vector flower. Uh, yes. And that seems to be a very popular one. So tell us, uh, how has your uh, product been received in a lot of these nations? How, uh, how has it been like as far as like presenting them to different parts of the world? Well, we've worked mostly with nonprofits and missionary groups. Mm -hmm. And um, we uh, basically sell it for just a little bit of profit. So we're not just enough to stay alive, yeah. you know. Um, so um, basically what you do is you roll this piece of paper up. It's also good for the environment because you reuse empty water bottles. Mm -hmm. Put it up inside the water bottle, like that. Shake it a couple times. Then you can take the cap and the pen, and poke about eight holes in it. I want to make sure I have it right because I'm going to give it to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And then you take the little pesticide here and this is the second pesticide pesticide I've come up with called EcoBait. Mm -hmm. It's actually organic. It uses clove and thyme oil and eugenol, which are all food products. Mm -hmm. And um, you put that in here in a cap. And you screw that on. Then you hang it well, gotta put the string on there first. Another thing we're thinking about doing is trying to help people start micro businesses using this. So we're working with a missionary, his name is David Ray, in Zambia, mm -hmm. and uh, trying to help people with that. And that, that's it, you hang it on the front porch or your back porch, and it helps for about 400 square feet. About 10 of these will help a half, half acre for a month. Wow, very interesting. So you just hang this around your house or right. wherever you, you can, feel you have more. Right, you can um, put it over by where they're breeding or whatever, you know, and it'll help control them. Wow. So this they're attracted, attracted to the colors, uh -huh. they eat through the holes in the cap, and they fly away and die in about one to two days using EcoBait. We have another pesticide called Entobac, mm -hmm. which uses a bacteria that kills the mosquito, and uh, we've used that all over the world. And uh, that actually takes about seven days for them to die, but when they die in land and water, they kill the larvae mosquitoes as well. Oh, so I that's see. been very effective, like in the Dominican Republic. Right. We've had great success there in Kenya in um, near Lake Victoria, which mm -hmm. is loaded with mosquitoes and malaria. I mean, sad to say that I've seen so many children die. Um, when I was in Sierra Leone, this, my daughter was pregnant at the same time, so it especially touched my heart. And uh, this lady went into convulsions. She was nine months pregnant and they lost her and the baby. And I turned to the nurse and I said, how often does this happen? She said, 24 seven, Dr. Tom. I'm like, we're going to help you. So we sent them a bunch of provector flowers. And so we, w the main thing is we just want to save lives to save souls. You know, we want to help kids not die. There's almost a million children die every year from malaria, mm -hmm. mostly in Africa. And about 3.5 billion people are in the world are at risk from, mala from mosquito-borne diseases. Yeah, and, and Houston, rise. Yeah, and Houston, you know, a Zika virus is spreading. It's the fastest spreading disease right. in the Americas right now. Mm -hmm. And so it's a, very much a concern. Yeah, and that brings me to um, what challenges have you had, if any, uh, presenting this to so many different parts of the world? Because um, I know you had mentioned earlier you have these uh, missionary groups that help you uh, right. introduce it to different parts of the world. So what challenges have you had, if any? Well, I, I think um, it's a new technology. I've actually given a, a talk at the World Health Organization, but you know, there's bed nets are very good, but you can't live under your bed net. When you go eat dinner or breakfast, or you have to go to latrine, you have to get outside your bed net, and that's when the mosquitoes get you. Right. So this is meant to complement the bed net, but to be honest with you, a lot of people, they've invested a lot of money in these silos, and anything new, they look as a threat to their silo. Mm -hmm instead of trying to look at us as we're trying to help, because it's called integrated pest management. Use more, more than one technology to fight a pest. 
Right. You know, so that I'd, I'd say um, industry has been kind of standoffish. Mm -hmm. um, and then sometimes the countries themselves, because it's a new technology, you know, uh, they want to make sure their people are protected. So, you know, but we've had s several publications now, and we've actually worked with the U.S. Army in Kenya and with Tha and U.S. Army in Thailand and published uh, the papers on that. And then we worked with the Rollback Malaria Program in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. And so we're working on publishing that article. So, you know, once, once you know, you have a track record and you show the technology is good, um, then then you make progress. Right, exactly. And, and you touched on something very interesting with the Zika virus affecting the Americas. How has that been like as far as like uh, people getting uh, to you and saying we need more of, you know, ProVector flower, for example? Right. Well, um, we were that close to getting into Rio for the Olympics. Oh, interesting. But we were, we got called a little too late and they had already gone. It was too late in the, in the process. Right. But we were asked to do a proposal for that. Um, Actually, a fellow from Walmart, he wasn't a Walmart employee, he was a contractor, uh, I guess a product hunter, Yeah. and he contacted us. This is before Peggy passed away, and uh, we've gone through some challenges, And uh, but God's brought us through. But this fellow, he was really interested in technology. He guaranteed his sales about 75 to 100 million a year. I told him, I could live on that. Yeah. <laughs> I said, but I need to be upfront with you. I have gospel verses on my product. He goes, oh, you'll need to take them off. I said, well, I don't think you understand. God's the one who gave me the idea, so I can't take them off. He goes, well, let's talk about something else. So we talked for a while, and uh, so it just didn't work out. Kind of different philosophy, um, you know, and my main goal, Roger, is to help poor people that are dying around the world. I want to help in America, too. Mm -hmm. We have poor people here in America. Um, I've done research. Often people that um, are poor, or live in minority neighborhoods or at higher risk. Mm -hmm. And so um, I haven't done the research here in, in Houston, but um, back in, in Georgia where we're from, we came down here for a week. God mm -hmm. said, go to Houston. Yeah. And so uh, we came down here to help too. Um, but back, back in Georgia, I've done some research and shown that in minority neighborhoods and in poor neighborhoods, people are at higher risk, from, for example, from West Nile virus. Mm -hmm. So um, last year we had the opportunity to go to Miami after the Zika virus hit there, and we gave out several hundred kits there as well of the super netties. Wow. So we, we just, uh, and we, we pray with people, we tell them about Jesus, and you know, uh, it, it's just been fantastic, and everybody in Houston has been very kind to me, and my, my two do youngest daughters are helping me in this too, Katie yeah. and Lily. I gotta acknowledge them. And, and you had mentioned Supernetti, so tell us some of the other names. Like I know Pro Vector Flower and uh -huh. what each of them do. Okay, they, they all are based on the same t kind of technology, using the colors uh -huh. to attract them. Mosquitoes can actually see colors from about 100 feet away, and then they come in close, and then they'll smell the bait, and they'll come in and eat it. So we have the Supernetti, which is in the bottle, and then we have the Pro Vector Tube, which is... Uh, just a plastic tube with the colors on it and they feed underneath the bottom. Same kind of idea. Mm -hmm. And then the ProVector flower. And then we can actually just use the plain paper and just put a little strip of pesticide on the back and last about two weeks. Wow. So, um, yeah, so those are the four, four technologies that, that we've developed to help, you know, basically at different levels. Right, exactly. So um, now you were talking about uh, going to different parts of the world. What's next for you now after this, after, um these after Houston, presented. yeah, yeah. After Houston, <laughs> um, I'm not sure where. Well, actually, Children of the Nations uh, contacted us, and we've worked with them in the past, and they, we've helped them in the Dominican Republic and in Malawi and Africa. Mm -hmm. um, Tom Flame at, at Waterwork, he's he does a lot of work in um, Dominican Republic, and so he's 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 ordered some products to help there. And so it seems like uh, we, we get calls every once in a while from all over the world. We work with the uh, Christian, uh, a Christian church down in uh, Miami. And when we went down there, just, doors just opened up. It yeah. wasn't like, I didn't know anybody. It's kind of like coming to Houston. I didn't really know too many people. I knew one guy. Uh, he's actually the director of mosquito control, uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Mustafa Dabon here. Uh -huh. So we came here to do the missions. I'm like, well, I need to stop in and see Mustafa. He's a great guy. We work together in the, in the Army. 
Oh. And so uh, he's now the director here. So you guys are in good hands. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like it. Well, uh, we were just talking to our guest, Dr. Tom Kolars, who is uh, the inventor of this latest technology, and he had mentioned them um, and had us uh, see the example that he made for us today. Thank you very much for coming to our show. You're welcome, Roger. You're welcome. Thank you for the invitation. You bet. Uh, and you were just watching Houston Refocused, and I'm your host, Roger Palomino, with our special guest, Dr. Tom Kolars. Thank you.